Hey guys, this is SH, and today we're looking at Mountain Blade with Fire and Sword, a standalone expansion to the Mountain Blade series. It just came out the day before yesterday, and I'm actually really excited to play this game because I am a huge fan of Mountain Blade Warband. I just love the free roam aspects of the game where you can just kind of do whatever you want, whenever you want, and just building up your army and your character. It's all really fun and this game I hope is no different because they basically just took this game and it's just forward in time there's guns and stuff now it's a different time setting and I think they even use like real factions and stuff like that so uh, a couple of things I have to go over before we get into the gameplay I guess is uh, I have been playing the game for like a little bit less than an hour already and that's just so I could get a little bit ahead of past the tutorial stuff. So now I'm actually in doing whatever I want to do. Also, I wanted to get a couple levels to show you guys kind of like how the leveling works and everything like that. But I, I already did spend the points. So basically, I'm building a character who's going to be agility and intellect based, I think, so that I can run around faster and ride better on horses and stuff like that. I also really like uh, having the looting skill and the training skill because for one, looting is just really good to have because you get more loot and that gives you a chance at better loot. And I usually don't buy items unless I really just have a huge amount of disposable income. And then there's training, which is you can actually just sit there overnight and your troops will actually gain experience and I really like that so basically here's my party so far it's got me look at me yeah and then I got some infantry and some riders I really don't have a lot I had like 20 dudes before but uh, some guys caught up to me and totally decided that they wanted to kill me so they pretty much did that <laughs> and I had to run. And uh, the, one of the things that I noticed so far about this game... Holy crap, these guys are going to catch me? Okay, no. One of the things I've noticed about this game so far is that it's much more difficult than the previous games. Uh, it, The guns thing, like, usually everyone I run into seems to have a gun now. And you can't really see the projectile. And I'm not sure if shields block any of this or not yet. So it's kind of weird <laughs> just like not being able to have like a shield or something like that I, I mean the shields could do blocking and stuff like that but even just being able to see the arrows in the last game was a big deal because you could kind of dodge them a little bit <laughs> if you had the athletic skills to do so so what I'm doing now is I'm just gonna talk to this bear guy and see if he has any jobs for me and he wants me to take some herd to that place, but I hate taking herds, so I'm not going to take that. Oh, actually, I think I have stuff to sell, though, maybe. I think I have stuff to sell. Yeah, I got some stuff to sell. So we're going to sell this stuff. So if you wanted to, I mean, there's tons of, th of ways to go in this game. If you want to go the trade route, like, just trade stuff from town to town, you could totally do that. If you want to go the bandit route, you could just pillage villages for money and stuff like that. And, yeah, that's pretty much like... I mean, y you just do whatever you want. <laughs> that's the whole point of this entire game. Is you just... You just go for it, man. You just go. I think my voice cracked a little bit just then. Because I'm a man. <laughs> At the end of each week, you do have to pay your troops. And... I don't even really have that much, and that cost me quite a bit. Uh, over time, your troops will be upgraded. They'll get better equipment and stuff like that. In this game, you can actually buy equipment for your for your dudes. You can make them look all similar and stuff like that. So, one of the things that... Oh, we should probably help these guys. Why not? Let's help these guys. Let's get into a battle. I want to show you guys some combat. Oh man, they actually ran away and now I'm just fighting them on my own. Sweet. So basically, when you get into combat, you actually can see every single one of your units. So here's all my units that I have. Some Muscovite mercenary riflemen that use spears for some reason. And 
And then I got these two guys that I found off. They were prisoners of some other deserter group or something like that that I took on. And I just kind of wanted to get a little bit ahead because being like a level 1 is really quite boring. Let's take out this guy. Ah, ah, missed him. Yeah, you want some of this? <laughs> see if we can get this guy. Man. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't want to get shot. There we go. Wow, that guy didn't die from that. I died from that. And yeah, uh, the damage is also based on how fast you're going. If you notice in the bottom left, it, there's like a speed percentage, speed bonus. And I'm actually doing more damage because I'm on a horse going way faster. And these guys are like standing still. Let's see, here's, a, here's also a gun. Let me see if I can gun this guy. See, look at that. One shot. 65 damage. I was doing only like 40 damage. Let's see. Let's see how much damage I do. 32 damage with my sword. I guess that's true, like, guns do a lot more than hitting someone with something, but I was also on a horse. <laughs> I don't know. Guns just seem really OP to me right now. They'll probably get better if I actually get armor and, like, have a shield or something like that, though. So we just won the battle, and my guys are all like, yeah, we're badasses. <laughs> so you just tab out. And then it says, you're victorious, it gives you your stats, like, one of my guys was killed. One of my horse guys, actually, that's kind of lame. But he does cuss, he does cuss a lot. I can hire this guy, though. Why not? Because he was a prisoner. Oh, man, we found a hat! And some, some other stuff. Guns and stuff, man. <laughs> Let's put the hat on. <laughs> uh, I look like Santa Claus. Let's take all this stuff. We might as well take it all since we have the space. We can just go sell it. That's how you make your money, your wealth. And there's more rebels. I was only fighting some of them. I guess the other ones were still in battle for some reason. I don't even. I'm just like kind of wandering aimlessly right now. I don't even really have like an objective. I don't think I have any. Oh, I do have a quest. Zamushai. Let's go to that place. I think that's over here. There it is. There's some bandits waiting for us at this place, and they want ransom. <laughs> so basically, I'm just going to go here and either judge and see if I can fight these guys, possibly, or just give them the money and take take the, take the girl with me back to the other village, or just take her with me for now. Because I don't, I don't have to do anything, really. I could just take the money if I wanted to, and just be like, ha ha. But there's 31 bandits here, so I think I'm just going to pay these guys the money that they want. And hopefully it, things won't go down. Here's the buddy. Whatevs. 370. Oh, man. So we got the chick with us now. All right, where's she? All right, I guess maybe in the previous game they would actually be in your party. Oh, there she is. Never mind. Kidnapped girl. Thank you so much. Will you take me to my family now? Yes, come with me. I'm your savior. <laughs> so, I forget where she's from. The mayor of Cherkask. <laughs> Cherkask. It's down here. It's all the way across the map. My god. That's one thing. Uh, this game takes a lot of time to play. If you don't have just, like, time set aside, or you're, you just, if you just want a game where you can just turn off your brain pretty much and just kind of play for a long periods of time then this is going to be one of those games that you're probably going to like. Now I want to get into some more combat and show you guys just more combat and stuff like that because that's the main crux of the whole game. You just It's all about the combat in this game I feel like. Like there's all the other stuff you could do too but none of that is as good as the combat. In the, the Mountain Blade Warband game they actually implemented multiplayer and uh, there is multiplayer in this game as well. So, I mean, we might get into some multiplayer in a separate video or something like that, but it is there. So if you want, if you only buy games for multiplayer and stuff like that, then uh, it has it. <laughs> Let's get head over to this Cherkask and deliver the 
the maiden. Let's see our... You have to feed your guys in this game, so I gotta watch my food levels and stuff like that. And uh, your morale is directly affected by however much food you actually have in your inventory. Like a variety of food will give you more morale. We don't really have to worry about that too much while we still have a really small army, though. So we we delivered the the maiden, and this guy was like, "Here's a level." So I just advanced to level 4 so I can show you guys a little bit of the whole leveling up stuff. So you just go to your character and uh, you choose an attribute because you get an attribute point and a skill point. Now one of the things that is good to know is that if you put a point into intelligence you actually get another skill point right away. So that's kind of how you can boost a lot of your early skills right away. Now, one of the things that I noticed was that I go really slow, and I like having pathfinding. So I'm going to put two points into pathfinding, because that increases my map speed, and I like to move faster on the map. I like to spend as little time on the map as possible, and more time in towns, talking to people, and in big battles, and stuff like that. So you could, you could also save your weapon points and all that kind of stuff. And early levels come by pretty fast. It's later on in the game, you're going to have to worry like about the direction of your character like it's good to have like an idea early on but later on in the game is when levels will come really really slowly because you're always fighting and you're always at war with someone probably and you're just gonna be fighting a lot of heavier heavier dudes <laughs> Not like heavier more experienced fighters and stuff like that it looks like we got some glitches going on. That's one of the things in this game. There's glitches in this game just like all over the place sometimes. You'd think that this one would be like way more polished, but it, I mean, it doesn't even look like they changed the graphics that much or anything like that. Let's see. There we go. Usually alt tabbing out and back in fixes a lot of the glitches that like the graphical glitches. I don't know why it just does. Let's check out this place. Let's see what's going on. Press the meeting. Let's see. Let's visit the tavern. So you can go to taverns, and usually there'll be people to hire. Or the one thing you're really looking for is like different, like named people, because the named people can actually travel alongside with you, and they're really good investments because you can actually level them up alongside you, and you can put skills that you might not like on them that are party based so it becomes a little easier to manage there's a group of particularly troublesome bandits who have infested the environs of our town sweet if you will hunt down these troublesome bandits that's my kind of job i love the hunt down the bandits the hunt down bandits jobs troublesome bandits there's 14 i think we get we could take these guys 14 that's not that's pretty much as much units as we have. And I think I might have a few better units than than he does. So we we exchange pleasantries like I'm gonna kill you and then we get into it. So I I'm gonna follow my horse guys. And see what they do. Now there are like orders you can kinda give to people if you press backspace you can kinda give orders. And if you press like F1 and all that kind of stuff, you can give orders. Oh wow, these guys have lots of muskets and crap. But really, you don't give orders when <laughs> your units are not even that big. Like, you don't have a big group of people yet. That's all I'm trying to say. Oh crap, this guy's gonna shoot me. Uh, if you have the game on like a higher difficulty, getting shot by a gun will like instantly bring you down. I even tested it out for a second just to see and I was like not having fun with that because <laughs> I mean in the last game you could just sort of be like a hero. You could kind of just go in Dynasty War style sometimes. Well not Dynasty War style but you could go in and really kind of affect the outcome of a battle pretty easily. 
Especially in sieges where you kind of have like a huge advantage. No, I'm actually I'm actually doing a lot better than I was earlier. Like when I was level one, I was not doing good at all. Now let's try and switch it up. Get a gunshot. Yeah. I am a fan of using the guns though. They are pretty satisfying to use. The only downside is look, look at how long it takes to reload these things. Just like, uh man. That took forever. I wanna shoot that guy now. But I won't. <laughs> One of my dragoons was killed. A village cap. Does that look cooler than my other cap? Kind of, but it doesn't have as much armor. Handmade firearm. How much damage do these do? We got... Oh, they can be used as, like, weapons, too. So we got 67 points of damage, and this does 64, and it has better accuracy, too. <laughs> oh, this is way better than what I have, even though it looks exactly the same. We actually made out pretty good on this haul. Oh gosh, I don't have inventory space like at all. Time to start selling stuff that isn't worth as much as the stuff that I picked up. Boots. Plus two? Okay, yeah, plus two. Uh, I guess I just have to leave a lot of this behind, unfortunately. Maybe I'm really low on some type of food that I could just bail on. Doesn't look like it though. I'm actually gonna take uh, this handmade firearm and just put it. Now I have two guns. Like a champ. <laughs> At least for now, right? I mean, why not? Did any of my units level up? Nope. See, I don't know if these level. or these units actually level up like they did in the previous one, or if you have to, like, go somewhere to level them up. Because you can't go to villages anymore. You can't go to villages anymore and just recruit, like, peasants. That's not in the game anymore. You actually have to go to these mercenary camps to do any of that. So let's go talk to the mayor. And he's heard about my deeds already because they were, like, right outside of town probably. And he gives me some experience points. Let's see. Let's see if he has another job for me. Do you have enough job? Deliver wine. Wow. The Tavern of Riga. Oh, oh yeah, I need to sell stuff. Sell some stuff. Let's go to the goods. Sell all our stuff. No point in carrying all that stuff around. Huh. Good haul, good haul. Let's see. Now, I did notice that the job changed pretty quickly last time. I may be able to, like, actually get a different job by just leaving and coming back. And that's something... Okay, no, okay. So, he has the same job. Usually, they keep the same job for, like, a while, like, a few days to a week in game time. So, time to move on and see if we can't find a cooler job or something. And jobs are a good way to get experience late, or early on. Later on, you can kind of just, like, do whatever, but... I mean, right now, it's kind of... Oh, wow, this place is under siege. Guess we're not going there. So we got these, like, minor towns, too. And these can fluctuate in wealth really easily because other factions will totally just pillage these and stuff like that. And I'm assuming that... Yeah, yeah, okay. So I can loot and burn this village, but I only have like 10 dudes, so it's probably not the smartest thing in the world. And we got more glitches and stuff. Let's actually go... That's the end of, edge of the map, though, so I don't... Oh, it's not the edge of the map. Wow. Alright, I'm going to try and fix that real quick. Alright, that's fixed now. So now... Yeah, that's... I... I there's, I mean, I'm showing you guys what I see, so if that kind of stuff turns you off big time, then that might just be a big minus for you, but you'll find that a lot of people enjoy the game 
even with some minor glitches and stuff like that. I guess that that's kind of not really minor. That's kind of a major one. But but still, you know, got to look past some stuff sometimes. Let's go to this Polotsk place. The Kingdom of Sweden. Let's see what's going down here. Maybe we can do another another epic battle with some some dudes escort a caravan uh, to Moscow all right let's do it caravans are easier than like herding sheep or some crap so we accepted that job and now this caravan is just following us and we're going to take him to Moscow. So, it's not actually too far. I could just kind of like click on that and let it go. But, holy crap, there's a lot of deserters right there. And one of the bad things about escorting is you kind of have to wait for them sometimes, too. Like, they're, they're usually way slower than you. And since I put, like, some points into that pathfinding stuff, I'm actually going... A little bit more, a little bit faster. Ooh, what are these guys have a bunch of dudes on them? Marksmen of the secret department. What? I kind of want to like kill these things and see what they what they are. You seen any outlaws around here? No, I haven't seen any outlaws lately. The devil take them. They're holed up in this country like rats. Oh well, we'll smoke them out sooner or later. Okay, I guess these guys are just just uh, manhunters. That's cool. Look, oh, this place is under attack. By who? Can we even not see? Oh, nope. It's not under attack, really. It doesn't look. There's no one there. People are going to think I did it. <laughs> Whenever you go into like a pillaged village, there's always like sad music. Oh, we got a battle going on here. But unless you're actually fighting for a faction, it's probably a good idea not to get involved into like the faction versus faction battles. Even though that you would probably you would probably get like a good amount. I don't even think I can. I think I tried to to earlier, but it was like not even possible. We could try though. See what's up. Yeah, it just doesn't even give me the option. In the previous game I'm pretty sure you could just be like whatever and just fight whoever. If they were your enemy, you would obviously side with one one side more than the other. But, I mean, <laughs> doesn't really matter. Especially right now, since I don't even have like a, a faction that I'm actually fighting for right now. Lots of, lots of units kind of run around here. Got to be careful not to get jumped, because I don't have a huge army. But we delivered this merchant caravan, so now he's just going to go in. Or we, we talk to him. He must be our escort. You follow my lead, whatever. I didn't talk to him before. Let's see. Let's talk to him again. There we go. There's Moscow. There's your money. Sweet. Escorting people gives you quite a bit of experience. So now... We got another level. I'm probably going to put it into Agility this time. Or maybe Intellect. Let's see. Let's put it into Intellect. And put some points into Writing. No, let's put it in. Put it in. <laughs> Pathfinding. And Training. Next level, I'm definitely going to put point to agility. Agility is just better, I think, for me. I like being able to swing my weapons faster and walk faster, just be like more maneuverable. So this is how you uh, get dudes in this game. You actually have to go to these mercenary captain camps or whatever, and you talk to the mercenary captain and you say, I want to hire some soldiers, and you pick which kind of soldiers you want. Uh, let's get some, let's just for the sake of this, get 10 marksmen 
So now I just paid 500 for 10 marksmen. And now I can change equipment too. And it's just pretty crazy actually. Like you actually can kind of do all this. Oh, see now I can I can upgrade them to have pistols and stuff like that. But that would cost like way too much right now. I can kind of just customize all these guys so that they can be that much more efficient. Now in the previous game, all you would have to do is level them up and they would be fine. They would just have their new equipment, like you would pay a small fee to upgrade them and they would have the new equipment. Now it's a lot different. I should have... Let's, let's just go to like a town, it doesn't matter. Fortress... No, let's go to a town. That's probably a town actually. Uh, no, actually, no, it's not. That's like a castle. So let's see if we can't do one more thing, and then I'm probably going to end this quick look at this game. We could try and take on these deserters, but we're probably going to die. That's why I'm going to go see if there's just some random stuff that we could do. One of the things that they did add was the ability to talk to, like, the guildmaster, aka the mayor of the town, from the menu. And, oh my god... That is like the best thing in the world because I hated walking through the town trying to look for these guys sometimes. Let's see, do you have a job for me? Escort another caravan. Uh Kaiskerman. No, let's not let's just like go fight some dudes. I don't care. If I lose or whatever. I just want I want you guys some more combat. Because, I mean, a lot of the game does take place on this map. I mean, you're going around, running around. You know what? Let's take these guys. Let's see if we can. And now give us your silver or taste our steel. Oh, my God. Let's do it. Let's get in a fight. This is going to end very poorly. And that's probably how I'm going to end the game. We're known for this battle is three. Battle advantage is zero. The only problem I have with it with this game's combat so far is when the entire other team has guns that is bad news especially right now in the very beginning of the game because usually it's easy for them to hit something and on top of that it's just I mean it's madness because look I mean like look at how many guns these guys have and how much da you saw how much damage guns do it's just it gets ridiculous pretty fast Take it out. Take him out. Oh, crap. Whoa. Uh. Have to reload this gun. Wow, this takes a long time. That's the other thing. Gotta be the hero here. Uh, but the thing is, is, yeah, those guys also have to deal with that. So that's my chance to attack, is when they're kind of, oh crap, not a very good attack at all. Let's see, I, I want to I try and get, like, oh, here's a shield. Oops. Well, I got rid of my gun, that probably wasn't a good idea. But I have a shield now. I could just, like, run over dudes. <laughs> but my sumter horse is, like, really bad at that. Now I can give my guys orders too, like I was talking about, so maybe I'll get off and do something crazy, like get rid of this for this, and get these guys, tell them to follow me. So now they'll, they'll come up closer on me, and then I can press like, charge, and then now they'll go, uh, shield save me. Yeah, take him out. Yeah. Oh my gosh. See, I was taken out super easily by that shot. I mean, I guess I was really low already. But I think my guys can take these guys now. Yeah, well, they just took him. Got bullets plus four to damage. Is that what I have already? Yeah. Take that. Simple saber. Not as good as what I have. Sturdy blast shoes. Do these look cooler? No, they don't go with my outfit. 
so basically that is Mountain Blade with Fire and Sword. I'm probably going to do a few more videos on this eventually and I'm gonna, definitely going to check out the multiplayer at some point. But if you're really a fan of open world games then you should probably give this game a try. It's really fun and it takes a lot of time to do like anything, like not a lot of time to do one specific thing, but you can sink a lot of time into this game. And if you're into games like that, then you probably shouldn't pass this game up. I think it's like $10, $10 or $20 maybe to buy the entire collection of Mountain Blade. And that is a pretty good deal, I would say. So yeah. Mountain Blade with Fire and Sword, it's out now. Check it out.